Hello everyone, I'm Navid from Rose Clinic uh, Performance Physiotherapy here in London and this is Kyle, my colleague. Today I'm going to tell you how to adjust or amend your desk setup and uh, computer or laptop on your desk to avoid uh, computer related injuries. So the first one, just the height of your seat and uh, that you have 90 degree back support as uh, almost as straight let's say so neither hunching forward or leaning backward to make sure your spine is uh, working in the most comfy position the next uh, thing that you need to adjust is the height of your chair as you know all chairs has a button can you go up and down a couple of times yes so with that button you adjust the height of your chair in relation to your monitor now most of evidence suggests that the height of the chair uh, it has to be adjusted in a way that there is a horizontal line between the eyes and the top or central monitor. Now, if we look at this position, now his eyes level is goes up to the desk. Now the computer is here. So in order to level that, either you have to adjust the height of your chair or you might raise your computer level. If there is a separate monitor, you can adjust it through that way. If you use different equipment, such as laptop, for instance, or tablet, you might put a couple of books under the laptop to adjust that height because the chair doesn't go all the way down so you need to find a different alternative or if it's possible get a separate keyboard and mouse and use them separately that you can raise your laptop in a good uh, height to have horizontal light and the last point is the position of the keyboard as you notice if you go to many offices Usually the computer is even further down, it's almost here, and that's how people use it, which is completely wrong. Right now, the weight of the shoulder will carry downwards, and because there is no support here, and accumulate here the pressure. So in order to avoid further pressure, you push your keyboard away until two third of forearm. Okay, if you divide this forearm to three parts, that's one part, two third, and three. So two thirds of the forearm, almost up to here, should be on a desk. And as you can see, now the weight of the shoulder will transfer to the desk. And because these both elbows are supported, there will be better posture for your neck shoulder as well. Okay, so these are people advice which make huge differences in your day-to-day -day computer usage. The next one is the mobile phones, which unfortunately, those uh, who use for work or even children they use for hobbies or uh, homework at school the usage of phone is getting more day by day so there are simple technique for the phone as well first of all never hold phone with one hand okay? can you bring it up and uh, we see it so if you hold with one hand there is lots of pressure on your waist elbow and that will be transferred to your shoulder always try to use with both hands as uh, you can see here and if possible, put your elbows on a desk and now use it because in this way the pressure of your uh, arm will transfer to the uh, desk and there is less pressure on your wrist, finger and shoulder. And if you are standing or sitting without desk, then put your elbow against, uh, can we just stand up please to show this uh, in proper way? So put your elbows against your uh, trunk or chest because, and in this way you can transfer that loading to your body and this is attached to here and is much better than holding in one hand like this okay so these are small tips that you can uh, use it to prevent a problem during your computer and day-to-day -day activities and if you need more information please watch our other clips and videos and especially doing some regular exercise uh, such as stretching neck shoulder muscle forearm fingers, wrist, elbow, this you find in our YouTube and other clips. Make sure you do look good after your body. Uh, do you have any tips to add anything I missed? I think you covered everything. Man. Okay, great. So if you need any second opinion or if you are struggling to improve uh, our detail and contact us and we can help you uh, as much as possible. Okay, so until next time, have a good day. Thank you.